Hi everybody, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a quick empties just to kind of get this um, moving to do empties videos more often. Um, I don't have a ton, but I do have some um, of the Sensepirations and two from the mental health that I did. Um, so I have some mostly Sensi and then I have a few vendor. So I will start real quick with this uh, Bath and Body, um, this Happy Easter. This lasted like forever. This was whipped marshmallow, pastel cloud, sweet daffodil. It actually wasn't super strong smelling, but um, I enjoyed it and I love the packaging. It was so pretty. So I had to have that for Easter. I just loved that one. So that was that was okay. I enjoyed it being there on my sink looking pretty. So um, let's see. I'll real quick do... I'm probably forgetting something because I always forget to throw something in the mix that I warmed but i did do um the salted pumpkin seeds from pink zebra i still have some of this one left and this one was this one's really good it would be more of a fall but i was just kind of in the mood and i wanted to use some of it up so it's just a spicy pumpkin scent not super sweet mainly just um the spices maybe some cinnamon in there and um i really enjoyed that that did pretty well um, I did some wine trail, which I love as well from them. This is a really nice, oh, and we have a pumpkin. Speaking of pumpkin, here's pumpkin. <laughs> she wants to be up here with us. Here, you go over to your bed. Oh, okay. There she goes. This is really good. I don't know all the scent notes in this one, but you can see it's a nice purple um, wax, and it just smells like grape really deep um rich grape scent it smells so good and this one was really good warming so if you like grape that was a super one i did from uh the pharmacist's daughter i did champagne problems i wasn't sure what i would think about this but i thought i'd give it a try it's champagne lemon lime grapefruit cucumber pineapple and blackberry and i will say this did super well and it just really um brightened everything up and smelled good and lasted quite a while it almost has a fizzy type uh, feel to it but it's not um there's no fizzy in the notes i don't smell blackberry i mainly smell the lemon lime and grapefruit maybe because of the champagne the champagne maybe makes it fizzy but this was super good it smelled really good um i enjoyed that so i'm glad i still have some of that one left this one amazing this is Lavender Haze. This is as well from the pharmacist's daughter. Um, this is Iced Vanilla Woods, Spearmint Lavender, Chamomile, and Buttermint Cookies. This was so good. And oh, I just loved this so much. And you can see beautiful wax. I did this one. I'm pretty sure this was up in my bedroom. And it just smelled for days. It was so good. Now, I do not keep that warmer on overnight. So I would say it was on maybe six to eight hours a day and probably lasted till I finally just decided I couldn't smell it as strong anymore it was maybe three to four days, but it was so good. And it just gave such a nice herbal, sweet um, scent. I really liked that. From Britta's, I did Wicker Man, Beach Nights, Pretzel and Fire Roasted Marshmallow. I actually just ordered some of this. This is so good. Mm, this I have this going right now downstairs I'm gonna probably take it out today because it's been in for like I would say almost a week <laughs> so I have three warmers on one stand downstairs um there's are they two scentsy warmers yeah two scentsy warmers and then a um sensationals I think warmer from Walmart and um I broke this up and used the whole thing it was so good it was a shape. I'm not sure what the shape was, but it's delicious. And then from Lavender and Speckles, I did Banana Nut Bread and Buttercream Coffee House. I actually have one more of these left. This smelled so good. This was, oh, this was a really nice scent. Mm, yeah, you get the coffee and the banana. Like, you, just like you're having breakfast, like maybe you put some banana on your cereal or a banana muffin and then some coffee because you just get the subtle hints of both and it's really delicious. So I enjoyed that. And then my last thing that's not Scentsy, 
is this is from uh, Wandering in Wonderland Wax, which this, oh my God, I love this so much. I just put this in last night. This is Char Charizard. So that's like from Pokemon or whatever. <laughs> um, she does a lot of that, like nostalgic stuff um, is how her scents are. This is Sweet Sugar Cherries, Dragon's Blood, Nag Champa, and Sandalwood. Now I forget what Nag Champa is and I'm sure many of you know. And I'm not sure about Dragon's Blood. I don't know why I thought Nag Champa was like a grape, but I, it's probably not. But um, Dragon's Blood, I'm thinking it's an incense type of smell. I could have sworn there was patchouli in here, but I think that's because it's incense-y. This is a sweet, beautiful incense, almost like you're walking into one of those hippie stores that sells those, uh, those throws like the you know what I mean. They they sell all the incense sticks and all of that cool stuff. It's exactly like you're walking into one of those stores. And this is heavenly. I put it in my bathroom in a little um, element warmer that I have from, I got off Amazon for like 10 bucks. And um, I could smell it downstairs. And it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh. And when you smell it on cold, you do smell the cherry. But I don't feel like that comes on warm. It comes across as strong. But how beautiful, too. Her, it's just so pretty. And there is a little bit, I think, of glitter in this. Yeah, there's some glitter. But oh, this is just so beautiful. Her wax is really worth a try. Um, I just love it. And it's so easy to break away in these little pinwheels. And just so fun. I love the packaging. And um, the... It's just super cute. Again, that's Wondering in Wonderland. And I think she has a restock coming up May 31st. So, love that. I have two, two containers of her works. I love it. Okay, so now Scentsy. So, I have some empties. Let's see. I have Pinkberry Sandalwood. This is a new release. And I should know all the notes. But it's like pink berries, obviously. Which, um, so... I don't really get berry per se. I get the sandalwood mainly. It's like a perfumey, like I kind of feel like it would be maybe along the lines of cozy cardigan, um, maybe um, corduroy, and, is it corduroy and cashmere? Something corduroy, something from, it's usually out in winter. It's just a sweet, very sweet, perfumey, beautiful scent. And I really, really like this one love that and it's a for me that one is a a medium performer for me um i did a whole uh clam of baked apple pie i actually my mom had a tea party and she bought some gifts off of me to give to people and um this was actually one of the gifts i won and i got a little warmer and uh the baked apple pie so I thought, I'm just going to do this whole thing downstairs. And it was a very light scent, but it smelled good. So every time I came into the house, I had the whole thing, this whole bar going, obviously. But every time I came in, it was a nice, um, soft, sweet bakery scent. So it's not, to me, this is not a powerhouse by any means. But if you like just a subtle, um, spicy bakery, just like you opened up a, a can of the pie filling, that's what this is. This is definitely the pie filling. Um, I wouldn't say you get a whole lot of crust. I did, um, I finished up uh, Born to Shine. This is from the Glamorous You Collection. I love this so much. And this I had right here in this warmer. It's so strong even right now in this clam. That This collection was beautiful to me. I love every one of them. And I still have quite a few Born to Shine because I think it was also in a flash sale. I had it in my club, but it was also in a flash sale. So I picked up a few. When I took this out, I really didn't have to. It was almost probably five days going and I did it overnight. And I like, I would probably turn it on around four and then overnight I let it on for a light for the cats, even though they don't need it. But there's Punky, look at her, so cute. Watching out the window. Um, but this amazing, such a good, beautiful scent. I love that. Pink leather, this I think was a scent of the month. And this is gorgeous. I love this one so much. Um, it's almost would be like a, 
almost masculine in a way, but more, but yet leans feminine. I don't know how to explain it. Gender neutral or whatever they want to call it scent. So to me, this is so nice. Um, I think I have this in my club. I really enjoyed that one. So I did that one. It's a good performer for me. Mainly I did that in, I think, my bathroom. So my bathroom's not overly hard to scent. But every time, it's one of those I go in and you almost don't want to take it out because you can still smell it days later. Like it's so super good. One, I love pink uh, sugarberry mint. This should be in the catalog. This is so good. I, it's not empty. I have two cubes left. But even in a small warmer, the mini warmers, this one does well for me. This is a strong scent. Does really good in my house. Um, and when I would come downstairs in the morning, I could smell. I'm like, oh, what is that beautiful, sweet scent? It smelled so good. And it's this. And being in just a mini warmer, that's pretty good if you can smell it. One of my new loves, and this is a new scent this summer, is Sun Castles. Oh, God, I can't say enough about this. I think there's pistachio in it. This is absolutely gorgeous. A lot of people were saying it's light for them. It was not for me. Again, I put it in my bathroom, but I could smell it downstairs, and it lasted for days in my bathroom. So, when again, when I finally took this out, I could still smell it. This is summer. Um, a, a perfume I'd want to wear in the summertime. It's just beautiful, gorgeous, reminds you of the beach. I absolutely love that and would recommend that if you like suntan lotion type scents or beachy scents like, like at the beach from Bath and Body, things like that. Excellent. And then I finished up the Aristocats. I love this, guys. This is like vanilla and cherry blossom. It's such a beautiful springtime scent. I know a lot of people say they don't get great performance from it. I did okay because I did it in small rooms, you know. It's just beautiful. It's like fresh air to me mixed with a very sweet, like when the blooms or the blossoms just come out. This is lovely. I really enjoy that. I don't know. I mean, maybe if I, I probably would have it in my club, but it might get cut just because of the price. But I really did enjoy that. Okay, so that's those. I threw in, but I think I have one left back here, vanilla bean buttercream. This is like a staple, really good to mix with stuff that you don't maybe particularly like as well. You want to, it's sharp, so you want to sweeten it up. I think I just did this in like a middle warmer to kind of between two scents. And I forget what the scent was. But anyway, it was beautiful. I, it's always beautiful. That's a really good one. Coastal Sunset. I love this. I actually have this in the pods. I'm super sad I missed that in the flash sale because they, I didn't buy anything in the flash sale, but I saw that coastal sunset and a lot of stuff sold out. I would have bought that like, you know, put in cart, put in cart, no regrets because I love coastal sunset and it does so well on everything. It does well in the cleaning products. It just lingers. These pods, a lot of their pods don't do that great. I'm warming them or have them going right now in this room. They are fading now, but they've been in like two weeks, like constant running two weeks. And I smelled them a long time. So I don't know why they get, they don't have them right now in pods. It makes no sense to me because I'm pretty sure the wax is still available. But uh, this is a good like exotic coconut scent. And it's a strong performer for me personally. I love it. So I'm pretty sure this is in the catalog right now. I have one with me. Spring, summer 2024. I think it's in the woods. I think. Sorry, I know you guys probably don't want to. It shouldn't be fruity. Floral. Yeah, it's in the woods. Creamy coconut, sandalwood, and amethyst amber. So you definitely smell that amber. Um, and the sandalwood are pretty prominent in that one. So that's a good one. I love that. Now this one, banana berry. Oh, I wish so bad when this came back for Bring Back My Bar that I would have put this in my club or gotten, gotten a lot more of this because I recently got this back out. When I first put this in, it was so strong it gave me a headache when we first got it. I had to shut it off. It was so strong. So then I probably a couple days later, I turned it back on. 
and it was beautiful. I don't know why that it just tamed down a little bit. I put this in mini warmers and it's delicious. Like I want to eat it. It smells so, so good. And it's such a good performer. If I see this come back and bring back my bar, I want it. It is banana, but there's just something sweet and delicious that they mix with it. I love it. And I'm like, really, I have three cubes. I don't want to use that all up. It's so, so good. Okay, let's see. So now I have, the. I only did two so far from the Father's Day collection. The Black Tie Affair, which I actually have in the one room. I kind of have to smell that again to see how it's doing. This is really a lovely scent. This was the one I loved the most. I think this has tobacco in it. And you can tell it has that tobacco scent. This is so good. They are all cologne type scents. This one is the one that I like the best. And right now in the bedroom that I have it in, um, I would say it was a light to medium performer, but it's super good. If you like cologne scents, that one's really good. Day on the Field, I had this one in the bathroom and I just took it out. Again, I probably wouldn't have had to, but it was, it was losing the scent. I turned that one on when I get home from work. I don't turn it. So like four o'clock and then it's probably on to 11 at night, 10, 11 at night. It lasted at least four days. And then I took it out. The first probably two were the strongest. Then it died down a good bit, but it's like a um, body wash scent to me. So this would be like an Axe body wash. If you like those type of scents, I really enjoyed that. Uh, blue lavender and bergamot was lovely. I did this in the bedroom. Oh, this is so, so, so good. If you love lavender, this is good. Now in my bedroom, it actually, for the first day did wonderful. The second day it died down a good bit, but I could still smell it by the third day. I had to take it out. And I would say that warmer was on about six to seven hours. But if you like herbal, sweet herbal type scents, this one is gorgeous. I love it. And then uh, chamomile and vanilla. I have this one going right now in this warmer beside me. At this point, I don't really smell it. I'd have to see if I get over the warmer if I smell it. But I would say it lasted a good... She's chattering. She chatters at the birds outside as soon as she sees birds. I never had cats do that. And now these two cats chatter. And I did read it's normal, but it's just so funny. This is definitely stargazing. It is. It's a little bit softer, though. Does not, wouldn't last as long. But this is stargazing. I don't even know that there would be much of a difference other than strength. And this was beautiful in here in this room. There she goes. It didn't travel. The scent didn't travel, but I really enjoyed it. So it's a light performer but it's so pretty and that is from the mental health awareness collection that's chamomile and vanilla so if you like softer um scents that one would be good it's um kind of perfumey i guess i don't know how to actually describe it powdery perfumey but i really really like that one but i also like stargazing so and then from the black raspberry vanilla i did every one of these uh, so let's start with the Black Raspberry Sangria. This one was pretty good. Probably only lasted, though, maybe six hours, and then I couldn't smell it anymore. And this one's like a fruity wine type scent. So where I did enjoy it, it just was not very long lasting. Black Raspberry Vanilla. I did four cubes of this. I do not smell this. This is so light to me. I just don't smell it. I don't know. It's a bestseller, but it does not do well in my home. Black Raspberry Linen. I actually really enjoyed this one. I did this in the bathroom and I really liked it. I would say this was one of my favorites from it. It's definitely a, a fabric softener type scent. I don't smell a lot of the blackberry. I smell more of, oh, I know. I know what it reminds me of. And I kept every time I'd smell it carpet fresh. This is carpet fresh that you sprinkle on your carpets. The original like carpet fresh scent. That's what this is to me. I actually enjoyed it. It's a good fresh scent. I don't know that I'd repurchase it, but I will use up what I have here and I will enjoy that. 
uh, let's see. Oh, the Black Raspberry Woods. I want to warm this again, probably in the bathroom, just to see if I get a better um, feel for it. I am one that does get that funky note on cold, but on warm, no. But I put it in here, and for the first hour or two, I couldn't really smell it. Then all of a sudden, I could really smell it, and it was fabulous. Like, I loved it. And then it kind of died away. So I need to try this again, but that funky note goes away on warm for me, and it was beautiful. So this is one I would definitely consider putting in my club if I warm it again and it does well. And Black Raspberry Frosting. This was pretty. I only have two cubes left. This actually did fairly well for me, but it was very, very light. So I could smell it, but it was it was light. And it was weird because one day I could smell it better than the next. I don't know if that had to do with air conditioning and, the, you know, what temperature I had set at the house. I did it in my dining room, but I did use this much. I'm trying to think if I put it anyplace else. I have two Scentsy warmers in the dining room. So between that, I probably did do this much. So it was not strong at all to me, but it's a, it's an okay scent. I would not repurchase this or put it in my club, but I'm glad I tried these, but I probably, the only one I would consider if Blackberry Woods does well would be that one because I love wood scents, maybe putting in my club or getting another one of, but overall, I don't think these were the best performing scents, but if you like a lighter scent with the dark, berries it's it's a decent set to pick up if you like that i think for me the mental health awareness um is going to do better because i like those scents better i like the herbal scents so that is what i have thank you for watching let me know um the summer collections coming up i did not get any of those other than in a whiff box but um let me know what you've been warming and if you enjoy any of these scents that I've been warming now, let me know. And everybody have a great Memorial Day.